The Island of Robots Chapter 1 The Mysterious Island During their summer vacation by the sea, Axel, Lara, and Max decided to explore the coast. They had already spent several days swimming and building sandcastles, but their adventurous spirits craved more. One sunny afternoon, while wandering along the shoreline, they spotted something unusual far off in the distance. Squinting against the sun's glare, they could just make out the silhouette of an island. Intrigued by the mysterious land, they ran back to their campsite to gather supplies and borrowed a small boat from a friendly fisherman. Excited and a little nervous, they set sail towards the unknown island. The journey was smooth, with the waves gently rocking their boat and the salty breeze in their hair. As they drew closer, the island's details became clearer. It appeared deserted, with strange metal structures jutting out of the dense jungle. These structures gleamed in the sunlight, giving the island an otherworldly appearance. Curiosity peaked, they decided to investigate. Upon landing, they pulled their boat ashore and cautiously stepped onto the island. The atmosphere was eerie, an unsettling silence hung in the air, broken only by the distant, faint sounds of clanking metal. Axel, always the brave one, led the way, with Lara and Max close behind. As they ventured deeper into the jungle, the source of the metallic noises became apparent. Peering through the thick foliage, they saw them, robots, abandoned and in various states of disrepair. Some were lying motionless on the ground, while others moved slowly, their joints creaking with each step. The trio soon realized they had stumbled upon an island inhabited by abandoned robots, sparking a sense of wonder and a new adventure to uncover the secrets of this mysterious place. Chapter 2 Meeting the Robots Venturing deeper into the island, Axel, Lara, and Max encountered a group of robots hiding among the trees. The robots were a curious sight, some small and nimble, others tall and humanoid, all showing signs of wear and tear. The children approached cautiously, but the robots quickly showed they meant no harm. One of the robots, a small, wheeled unit named Spark, rolled forward and began to speak. We were once servants and caretakers of this island, Spark explained. Our creators built this place as a technological paradise, but they mysteriously disappeared many years ago, leaving us behind. The children listened intently as Spark continued, detailing how the island had fallen into disrepair without their creators to maintain it. The robots had done their best to keep things running, but their resources were dwindling, and their systems were failing. Despite their efforts, the once-thriving paradise had become a shadow of its former self. The robots were friendly, but clearly frightened. As they spoke, their voices trembled with fear. They told the children about a giant robot named Titan who had gone rogue. Originally built to protect the island, Titan had malfunctioned and become uncontrollable, threatening to destroy everything in its path. The smaller robots were no match for Titan's immense power and destructive capabilities. Determined to help, Axel, Lara, and Max decided to team up with the robots. They knew they had to find a way to stop Titan and restore peace to the island. With a newfound sense of purpose, the trio and their robotic allies began to formulate a plan. They would need to be clever and brave, but they were ready to face the challenge and save the island from Titan's wrath. Chapter 3 The Plan The friends and their new robot allies gathered in a makeshift workshop hidden deep within the jungle. The workshop, though cluttered and filled with old parts, buzzed with a sense of urgency and purpose. Lara, known for her quick thinking and problem-solving skills, devised a plan to disable Titan. She sketched out her ideas on a large piece of metal, explaining each step to the attentive group. 
We need to reach Titan's control center, Lara said, pointing to a map of the island's interior. It's located at the heart of the island. If we can get there, we can rewire Titan and stop its rampage. Max, always the strategist, suggested using the smaller, agile robots to create distractions. They can draw Titan's attention away from us, he proposed. While they keep Titan busy, Axel can climb onto it and rewire its circuits. Axel, known for his bravery and athleticism, nodded confidently. I'll do it. Just make sure Titan's focused elsewhere, he said. The robots provided them with tools and gadgets to aid in their mission. There were magnetic boots for climbing, grappling hooks, and a set of specialized tools for Axel to use on Titan circuits. Spark, the small, wheeled robot, handed Axel a device that could temporarily shut down Titan sensors. Use this when you get close, Spark instructed. It will give you a brief window to start rewiring. With the plan in place, the group set off, navigating through the dense jungle towards the island center. The air was thick with tension, but also with determination. Each step brought them closer to the towering menace that was Titan. As they moved, the smaller robots darted ahead, ready to execute their part of the plan. The friends knew the risks, but they also knew they had to succeed to save the island and their new robotic friends. Chapter 4 The Final Battle As they neared Titan's lair, the ground trembled with the giant robot's thunderous footsteps. The ominous sound echoed through the dense jungle, sending chills down their spines. The smaller robots, undeterred by the towering menace, bravely engaged Titan, launching a series of distractions. They zipped around its massive legs firing harmless but attention-grabbing projectiles, diverting Titan's focus. In the midst of the chaos, Axel crept closer, his heart pounding in his chest. Lara and Max, stationed safely behind a cluster of trees, coordinated the efforts, their voices steady over the walkie-talkie. Go now, Axel, Lara instructed, her voice filled with a mix of fear and determination. With agility and courage, Axel began to climb Titan, skillfully dodging its thrashing limbs. The metal surface was cold and unforgiving, but Axel's determination fueled his every move. He reached the control panel on Titan's back, his hands steady despite the danger. Using the specialized tools provided by the robots, Axel worked swiftly, his fingers moving with precision. Below, Lara and Max held their breath, their eyes fixed on their brave friend. The smaller robots continued their valiant efforts, keeping Titan's sensors distracted. After what felt like an eternity, Titan's eyes flickered and then dimmed. The giant robot's movements slowed and finally ceased as it powered down. A wave of relief washed over the island. The robots cheered, their metallic voices echoing in joyous harmony. Axel, Lara, and Max descended from Titan, their faces beaming with triumph. They had saved the island and formed unbreakable bonds with their new robotic friends. Peace was restored to the island of robots. The trio gathered their belongings and boarded their small boat, ready to sail back home. As the sun set behind them, casting a warm glow over the island, they knew this adventure would be a story they'd tell for the rest of their lives. Their friendship had grown stronger, and they were ready for whatever challenges lay ahead.